What's up, you little yahoos? I'm Sam. I'm Amy, and what the heck did you just call me? I didn't call you a yahoo. I called everybody else a yahoo. What'd you just call Hayden? <laughs> I haven't called Hayden anything yet. And welcome to the Average Joe Show. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> um... Hayden, say hello. I believe we haven't formally announced you yet. Andy! Andy! <laughs> Andy! The Average Joe Show. So, uh, for those who don't know, I'm wearing a hat. Dude, he showed up. Looking like Indiana Jones. Yeah. Imbi Bamba Jones. <laughs> Ingi Ingi Gongs. <laughs> Ingi Ging Ging Ging. <laughs> so stupid. <laughs> um. So, what are you drinking today, Amy? We went to Swig. And uh, last time we recorded, you were like, you always get the same three drinks. Because she does. So I got something new. I got a uh, peaches and cream. And I can't remember what's in it. Let me look it up real quick. Mm, peaches. peaches. <laughs> mm, peaches. Cream. 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 Peaches, peaches, peaches and cream. Peaches, peaches, peaches and cream. Never Yep. Reviber. 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 So Reviber. it is a blended Reviber. Uh, every single time Amy says uh, Reviber, can you, or anybody says Reviber, can you reverb it? Actually, I don't want to do that. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't want it either. But it's a blended Reviber with a Sprite, pe Peach Puree, and Vanilla Cream. She's pretty good. What'd you get? I got myself a raspberry dream. A Dr. Pepper with coconut and raspberry puree. Wow. Nice. Well, you got Hayden. Water. Water. You didn't get anything? No. Why? Water. Okay. okay. I didn't want water. anything. I just want it. Water. Mm-hmm. I didn't want to pay for water, so I just got my own water. <laughs> <laughs> I almost brought my own water. Well, okay. Well, well okay, okay then. then. <laughs> well, okay, okay then. then. Um, uh, today we're talking about Indiana Jones. Then yep. talk about uh, just the series since the new one's coming out. Yep. When is it coming out? Uh, June 30th, so in like a few weeks. Mm. A month. <laughs> uh, probably a month from when we post this. So in preparation for the new Indiana Jones, we watched all the other ones. And, uh, <laughs> you're going to get our thoughts on them. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, <clears throat> something I've always, I've always liked this series. Um, mm -hmm. I feel like I didn't really grow up watching it. I the only one that I really watched when I was like under the age of ten was probably Temple of Doom. Which <laughs> is probably the like most gruesome one. Yeah. But um <laughs> I watched all the other ones like I watched the first one probably when I was like maybe twelve or thirteen. So like 10 to 11 years ago. Mm -hmm. um, to me, all of them just kind of blended together. Because mm -hmm. I just watched bits and pieces of all of them. Because mm -hmm. I remember like him and his dad doing shenanigans. Which is funny because like, I don't remember ever watching the third or fourth one until like yeah, I'd, five years ago. Yeah, I never watched the fourth one. But the third one, I just remember, like, yeah, he's with his dad. And also just the end of them being in, uh, like, where the Holy Grail is. Mm -hmm. But yeah, because I thought 
That movie and Temple of Doom were the same ones. Oh. <laughs> nice. Yeah. It was pretty good. Um, I guess, um, I don't know what we really, how we really want to set this up. Like, we could just talk about stuff that we liked and disliked from the first movie, and then go to the next movie, then the next movie. Just mm -hmm. keep on going through. Yeah. Um. I really like the first one. It's a good introduction to Indiana Jones and just that character. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think Raiders is like one of the one of those movies where it's like the first of its kind. Mm -hmm. Like, you've probably seen like adventure movies, but it's not like. Uh, it's more like action, like it's, movies that were considered adventure movies. Like adventure was like probably like the secondary genre that it is. Because mm -hmm. there's like Star Wars, that's like a sci-fi adventure. Mm-hmm. But it's like a lot more sci-fi than adventure. And then there's just a bunch of other stuff that you think of. And I feel like adventure is just kind of a weird, yeah. weird genre. Yeah. But like... But I think we're also just tainted by only having action movies. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We're in the age of action. The age of action. Mm. Action, action, action. Um... Which I feel like fourth one definitely turns into more action. Yeah. Um, or I feel like this one's like more of a good action adventure type thing. But I feel like it's more, it starts off more adventure than action. Yeah. But I still don't think that, I think looking at all the movies, mm -hmm. you have Indiana Jones, or like you have Raider of the Silver Lost Ark. Mm -hmm. The Last Crusade and Kingdom of the Crystal Skull. And I'll, let me explain that point. Um, they are all like, I don't know, they're all seeking treasure. And so you're on like this treasure hunt. While the second one is just like, oh, we got lost in this mysterious world and we got to. We crash landed into this village and they're like, oh, we prayed for someone to help us. So you have to help us. Yeah, it's like it feels like a like one of those side quests that you get pulled into. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm yeah. And it's I, like, oh, you can't avoid it. Yeah. I I think it's just interesting. Like the second movie, you just see how different it is from everything else. Mm -hmm. Like you have a different like relationship with like like Indiana Jones and the people that he's working with and the people who he's working against. Because mm -hmm. all the other movies, it feels like it's a race against... Uh, this is going to be a weird episode because we, we just skipped the first one and straight to the second one because I'm, I'm totally down to talk about that one right now. Mm -hmm. um, but like all of the movies, except for Temple of Doom, feels like it's a race to find this hidden treasure. Mm -hmm. well, Before the bad guy, like the evil, like group of people gets mm -hmm. in. Yeah. I think because I can totally see it being like, since it was the second movie, uh, like they're just like trying to do something new. Yeah. Was and George I, Lucas a part of that one? Or because I know he was a part of the first one. I'd imagine he's a part of all of them. Mm, let's see. But, uh,. Because, like, I'd imagine it was trying to do a James Bond kind of thing where, like, it's the same main character of James Bond, but he's fighting different people in every movie. Mm -hmm. And, like, it doesn't have, like, the same, like, allies in, like, the other ones. So they're probably trying to do something like that where it's, like, oh, new adventure and, like, all that kind of stuff. Like, just all new. So it's, like, all like fresh stuff so it's not like the same thing yeah and that's that's fair like i like you know i still like it mm -hmm. but it's just weirdly it's just a weird different movie mm -hmm. i wonder because i haven't seen like 
ratings on it or like what what critics have said. Mm-hmm. But I wonder if they said something that's like, eh, this is weird and like coming off of the first one. So then they're like, oh, we got to backtrack and then bring in the dad and make it more like the first one. Well, from what I've seen and read, but this was like years and years ago. Mm-hmm. Um, so it's just going off of memory now? Yeah. Um, I think, uh, I think Temple of Doom and, uh, Kingdom of the Crystal Skull are, like, deemed as, like, not good. Mm Mm-hmm. And, They're, like, like the bottom half of the movies? Well, even to a point where it's, like, they don't like the movie. Oh. And, which is very interesting because I love it. Um, mm-hmm. and if I totally botched that, um, uh, that criticism, or if I botched the, the factualness of, like, the general public, uh, sorry. Oops. Uh. Don't worry, we're gonna get a fifth one and then the ranking will be all new. Yeah. Yeah. Because, yeah. If I were to rank all of them, though, mm-hmm. right now, I think... I think I would put down Last Crusade, Raiders. Ooh. No, I think I think uh, Kingdom of the Crystal Skull actually had some really bad stuff in it. So, well, oh, the lady. I can't remember her name. I was gonna say Andy. Is that her name? Andy. Andy. <laughs> <laughs> Um, and also get ready for that impression of, uh, of oh, what's his name? I want to say it's Solik? Is... Sol- Sol- Um. It's Gimli. Yeah, it's the actor who plays Gimli who's also in these movies. Um, oh, come on, come on. It's showing all the new people. Dude, K-Hoi Kwan? Oh, He's so good. Ah, uh, Salah. So, Salah? Salah. S-A-L-L-A-H. Salah? Salah. Salah. I don't know. Salah. I'm going to say Salah because I like the sound of it. Salah but... on these nuts. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> um, but uh, ever since we watched the... In the Raiders movie. Uh, when he first appears. Whoa. Yeah, yeah when he first appears. Uh, I have never thought of that movie and immediately tried to do an impression of his voice. where It, it turned into like something close to what he sounded like. Like, in there, I want it. I don't know. It's like less gruff than that. But like, mm-hmm. uh, it's turned into, in there, how are you? In there. <laughs> <laughs> and it sounds absolutely horrendous. So if that randomly pops out throughout this episode, you know what it, what we're referencing. Mm-hmm. Um, but it happened throughout the whole movie, like right as he first appeared, <laughs> like, which is like first ten minutes maybe. <laughs> no, he's he probably first, pops in first like first thirty line. minutes. Yeah, first thirty minutes. Um, but it was that's just, been the whole time of us yeah. watching the movies. We're saying, even in between. You, you replaced all of like the side characters with him. It's like, like you're replacing Mary and be like, Andy, I love you so much. Andy, give me a kiss. And you go to like the boat to like where they're like escaping away with like the ark. It's just like the the one captain. It's like Indy, people are on the boat. <laughs> <laughs> they're the coming Nazi- to an invade. <laughs> the Nazis are coming to get us. <laughs> I sure hope nothing happens to us. <laughs> so dumb. <laughs> Short, it worked a little bit for Short Round just because he was like sort of the replacement for Sala. And then Sean Connery's voice sounds vaguely, vaguely close. <laughs> you just just mad. You just smashed both of them together. I know. <laughs> Junior! <laughs> Junior, you little twat! I'm smarter than you, and I've also slept with a Nazi. 
<laughs> Same Nazi as you. <laughs> <laughs> that was a weird scene. Um, <laughs> I, love, I love how clueless he is. <laughs> like, like how clueless she, uh, Senior is? How his dad is? Yeah. Henry? Like, because uh, there's like just that part where they're like tied up and she's just whispering to Indy, being like, oh yeah, I had a great time. And he's like, oh thank you. <laughs> It's like, Are they carrying me over here? <laughs> no! <laughs> um, yeah. Um, something that I've always liked about the movie, I do love the characters. The characters are so great. Mm-hmm. Like, I don't... Like, the... Like, my favorite characters are, like... Like, I like a lot of, like, the random side characters. Like, the guy who, in the first movie, who's, like, working on the airplane and then proceeds to just wail on Indy. And he's like, this is my only... <laughs> this is my only character trait. Like the big man? Yeah, the or... big guy. He's like, my only character trait is I'm going to be oblivious to anything but punching Indiana Jones in the face. I'm about to get this man. Yeah. I don't even think he says a single word. <laughs> he just talks in German. He calls him a little boy. What's a... What is... Is it Frau? No, Frau is, is, is woman. Like Frau is Miss. Oh, Miss. Foreign. Frau... No, Frau is Mrs. Fräulein is Miss. I can't remember. <laughs> Let me just... <laughs> Yeah, he calls him a younger. Well, you call, is, he calls him a little. Wait, oh, younger? Younger. Younger? Mm-hmm. Younger! Yeah. Younger! <laughs> <laughs> no! No, no, get out of here! I hope this also doesn't turn into a, a multiverse Amy uh, <laughs> character where. He'll just appear whenever he yeah, wants to. Just like. Well, he's gonna come back for the. He's for sure gonna come out during the, the. For the fifth one. Oh yeah, for for our our June recap. Mm-hmm. Okay, watching the trailer. For the fifth one. Mm-hmm. Uh, like the like his like the chick that's like teaming up with him. Mm-hmm. Who is her dad? Cause like. The actor's dad? No, like in the movie, she was like, because she's like, yeah, you, uh, my dad worked with you. Mm. And he's like her god. He is her godfather. Oh. Um... But then I was like, oh, is she like a daughter of like one of the characters that's like already came in like the movies? I think let's see because i'm not entirely sure because i'm looking up shaw like mm-hmm. that's the that's the character's last name is shaw helena shaw mm-hmm. um because at first i was thinking it was the guy from the fourth one that's like the double agent well but then i can't i can't remember what his name is oh what the I'm seeing the cast of some of these characters, and it's going to be pretty crazy. We can talk about that later. Yeah, um, I'm, I like the lore of all of the movies. I mean, other than Kingdom of the Crystal Skull. But <laughs> that's, a, that's a whole other thing. <laughs> so I was like looking. Well, no, so uh, last night when we were watching the movie, I was looking up, like, the lore of crystal of like crystal skulls and like just like folklore from it Mm -hmm. and literally all that it is is just like people in germany that like imported quartz from like brazil Mm -hmm. they just made them look like skulls and that's it there's nothing interesting about it (laughs) and i'm pissed i think because then people have like made up like Oh, there's five crystals all around the world, and they're 
Aliens. 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 Well, Aliens. Well, that's what <laughs> I think. That's what like the whole. I think that's the whole thing though of these kind of movies or any like form of like treasure hunting. Well, I feel like uh, there's like pro or not propaganda like media, where they base off of. They base off but the this treasure movie. thing off of a rumor, which could be whatever a more entertaining thing would be. Like. But the. Like. I don't know. I'm thinking of like the Lost Ark. That's like a religious item mm -hmm. that was used to talk to God, and that's like the whole thing with it. Mm -hmm. But then you have these skulls where like it's just a bunch of stuff that people like made up. Mm -hmm. And like, there's no like set like folklore. It's just like yeah, people just made these crystals into skulls. So in like actual it. history, there's nothing that was. Mm -mm. Like the only thing was like, yeah, and people like to make up stories that like. Well, that's the point like, though. No, but like, the other stuff had like actual use to them, if that makes sense. Like, like, the other stuff, like... Like, they all have, like, like, a whole, like, story thing going with it, and it's all, like, set in stone, and it's been, like, there for centuries, while with the Crystal Skull, it was, like, in the, like, like, late 1900s, where it was, like, made, while all this other stuff was, like, super old. You do know when the movie came, like the movie takes place, right? Not the late nineteen hundreds. That's the not 19... the point. Okay, but I like it's a different history compared to like all the other stuff from the other movies, where it's like you could have done like if you're wanting to go into a supernatural thing. You should have just done something else rather than a crystal skull. Or it's like the fact that people in Germany just made these things. I don't know. I I don't know what I would have done. I'm not I'm not a writer. I'm not an archaeologist person. I don't know like weird folklore stuff, so I wouldn't know what to do for that. And I don't know. The movies are supposed to they're not supposed to be this is really what happened, because... Well, no. Well, well, yeah, obviously. But it's like they're getting the folklore of, like, all these things and giving it a twist. Mm hmm While with the Crystal Skulls, it's like the twist is just what everyone else is saying and it's nothing interesting. Or I guess, like, the only interesting thing was, like, oh, yeah, there's, like, whole bodies of, like, crystals... And, like, that's it. And they all become one and are an alien. Well, I'm not saying that's bad, but it's weird. Like, it's... Like, that's, like, the only interesting thing, but that's, like, the only twist that it gives. But it's yeah. also, like, I feel like that's, like, the only, like... Like, like seeing what happened in the movie where it's, like, oh, yeah, aliens and, like, they were found in this area, so it's gonna be in... In that spot. Mm -hmm. And like, you'd think that would be like the basis of it. And then they would like build off of that when it's like, oh no, they just built it off of, oh yeah, there's these crystal skulls. Whoa. And that's it. I think, yeah. And that's like the. There's a lot more the, interesting things. I think to attach more, like to bring the audience in on it is to, they're attracting more and focusing like, like the movie company focuses more on the um more on the thanks <laughs> more on the um the um actual adventure of like of this race between the good guys and the bad guys to get this treasure Mm -hmm. And, but I like, feel like there should be a good actual point. Like, there's been too. I've seen too many things of like, hello, I am bad person. And I want to know everything, and then they learn everything, and then they immediately regret it. 
like the like the lady in the most recent movie. Yeah, in King- Kingdom of the Crystal yeah. Skull. Yeah. Which that that I wasn't like way because the that. other ones make sense where it's like we're getting the arc because we're gonna use this we're gonna see like we're gonna use this as a weapon and have the Fuhrer win. Mm-hmm. And like they're like oh well let's. Like, oh man, wouldn't it be embarrassing if we open it up, like, in front of him? So we should see if it actually works. And then they all died. Well, yeah. And then, uh, I'm sad because I can't remember anything from Temple of Doom. But also, I was dying that day. Yeah, you were. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um. So I wish I knew more of the lore of that, but... I don't really know too much of the lore. Like, basically, what I got out of it... Because it's a different thing. You're not really delving too much in... You're just dealing with a weird cult group. Mm-hmm. Of, like, sacrificing and, like, enslaving children and whatever. And, like... Yeah. Voodoo dolls. It, it's, I don't even know if it's even, like... Well, it, it does delve into... Or it references, uh, like, Hindu... Um, mythology. Yeah, mythology. Because they talked mm-hmm. about uh, oh, what's 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 that god's name? Shiva. Shiva. Yeah, I have to remember because of Shiva from like the Batman series. And, like, <laughs> yeah. Wow. Um, because I yeah. yeah. Um, just because that's her name. Um, yeah. And her whole deal is she balance? Is that her thing? I can't she's like the main god, so I don't know if she's the one that creates everything or if she is balanced. I wish I knew more. Yeah, I remember being very interested in it when we were in like like my world civilization class in in high school because that was something I knew nothing about. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. But yeah, like yeah, I want to look more into it. Yeah. Because that's, that's what I like about these movies is just learning the folklore. Mm-hmm. And, like, from all these different places. Yeah. That's why, I like, like, some of them were kind of a bummer because, like, like, they were just in, like, not generic spots, but it was, like, like, the first one's, like, rooted in Christianity, which, like, a lot of people know about. Mm-hmm. And then there's the Holy Grail, which is King Arthur stuff. Well, also Christianity. And Christianity. That's mostly Christianity, but, like, the, they know that the final resting place was with, the, or the last known stuff was, like, the last known location of it was with King Arthur. But, yeah. hmm Yeah. And, the, yeah, and then the last one, like... It was, like, Area 51, but it was, like, in Mesoamerica. Yeah. But it's, like, I want to see more stuff where it's, like, in India or even, like, like, just more, like, on the east side. Are they east or... East Indian, like, stuff? Just, like, eastern culture, like, uh, like, any, like, Asian culture or, like... Mm. Like, Chinese stuff. Like, I think it would have been fun to have a little side story. Like, do you remember from the beginning of the second movie? Where they found that little, like, uh, like emerald dragon thing? I actually don't even know if it's emerald. No, it was some sort of diamond mm-hmm. that, that they got mm-hmm. for the for the bad guys at the beginning of the movie. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. And I think it would have been interesting to see where that would have went. Mm-hmm. But also, that wasn't their plan was to go through. The, it, that wasn't their plan to go through that folklore. It was to focus more on other Asian, uh, like, mythology. Mm-hmm. Or, yeah. 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 Um, but I just want to get more of that. Like, that'd be fun. Yeah. Yeah. Because what's the whole thing with the new one? The new one? I have no idea. I actually haven't looked too much into it. Um, it I'm, I'm scared it's giving, that... It's giving the... Uh, what's that one? Pirates of the Caribbean movie? The... <laughs> you both looked at me like, oh, there's a bunch of them. What are you talking about? Yeah. Which one? Yeah. But... Uh, I think it's the fourth one where it's like... 
ooh, the fountain of youth, and like no one liked it. Oh, <laughs> I haven't um, seen it yet. That's the fourth one, Stranger yes. Tides. Mm. It's a fun one. Yeah. Which. Those movies also have good lore to them. I like those ones. Yeah. Because it's also like, I was going to say sea shanties, but like just like sailor tales and like all stuff. That from stuff from Sea of Thieves. I've never played it. I played it like one. Wow, you summer. nerd. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, jerk. <laughs> um. But yeah, because I think there's like something with a clock and I'm like, oh, cool. They're finding the, it's going to say the Temple of Doom. That's not what it is. And I was about to say the Temple of Time. Wow. But like also the, the Fountain of Youth. Um, so I was looking up what the Dial of Destiny is. Mm-hmm. Um, so basically what it is, is, um, this is based on the, okay, why, oh, (laughs) I I started like reading it all in one word because it's a website, but, uh, it's (laughs) themarysue.com. Wow. Um, I was going to do like Thema... Like them obscure or something like, mm-hmm. like something yeah something yeah. like that yeah um but according to this website um it says the impressive piece of like i i looked up what the dial of destiny is mm-hmm. and it's supposed to be the to quote them the impressive piece of machinery has been referred to as the first computer and was speculated to have been used to predict eclipses and track planetary movements oh interesting mm-hmm um, Dude, imagine and if was, they bring in aliens on this one. Who knows? Uh, it's it looks like it's supposed to do with ancient Greece. Ooh. It says purposes that would have helped, like these these like the like predicting the eclipses and tracking the planetary movements is it would be these purposes that would have helped uh, ancient Greeks or is it proposes? I don't know. Um, it, w- it helped ancient Greeks keep track of time. Mm-hmm. So, um, nice. but when I first saw Dial of Destiny, I'm like, hmm, something that was sort of like a dial is is a, is another well known treasure hunting uh, thing, like a little disc that spins around and does other stuff. Uh, is from the Uncharted 3 game where you put, like, the Nathan oh, Drake's ring, ring in. thing and it, like, translates stuff and whatever. Mm-hmm. Uh, and that's what I thought of immediately. I'm like, oh, is that what this is? But, um, yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, they wish so they were as cool as the Uncharted games. Just kidding. No, <laughs> I, think, I think Indiana Jones is... Is pretty if cool. we if we didn't have Indiana Jones, we wouldn't have Uncharted. Oh yeah. So well, okay. I shouldn't be mean. Just like <laughs> Grandpa. <laughs> yeah. Um, what was it? Um, the yeah. Without like Indiana Jones, I think it's one of the most influential like action movies, adventure movies of all time. Because you wouldn't have Everyone Uncharted. Everyone references it too in their movies. Like oh, yeah. just the whole thing of like sliding on another thing and like their hat or something is under it and it's just them quickly grabbing it. Yeah. Yeah. And like also just like, I don't know why, but like characters that use a whip, I feel like they always like do some sort of Indiana Jones thing. Yeah. It's, oh, I'm trying to think, um... When does the iconic, like, is it only the one time in uh, the Indiana Jones movies where he does, like, the, the slide under the door and grab his hat? Because I only remember that from the second movie. He does it in the first one. Like, he's he does something, he drops his hat, and he quickly grabs it before it, like, closes on him. Mm-hmm. And then they do it again with his whip in, I think, the second movie. But then I think I can only remember those two times. I'm sure there's other times where he's done it. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah. I don't know. Other iconic stuff, like, if nobody was, like, I don't know. I feel like uh, Indiana Jones doesn't have enough of snake interactions to have everybody know the like i feel like everybody knows that indiana jones doesn't like snakes Mm -hmm. but that's just because of pop culture and like the like of what people say in public and i feel like there's there's only like maybe three scenes in all of of the entire series where it references uh him not liking snakes yeah which is is the first well the first movie where he's like Jacques, Jacques is his name. I think that's his name. Jacques, why is there a snake on this plane? He's like, I, I wanted to bring my, my pet snake, Larry, or something. His name is Reggie. Yeah. <laughs> I can't it's remember. So, so dumb. I and love then, it. And then when they're going into that one room where the light peers in and you see, like, the pinpoint of where. No, it's a different room. It's, like, where the ark is that has all the snakes in it. Is it? Mm-hmm. Yeah, because Indy goes down in the room where he gets the pinpoint all by himself, gets back up, they go dig it up, and then they open it up and they look, look but down that, and he's like, oh, snakes, room? why does it have to be snakes? No, it's not the same room, Sam. Well, is it the same little underground hole, but a separate room in that hole? What do you mean? There's the hole? No, so like, they got the, so there's the hole mm-hmm. where there's... Like, the room that has, like, the map of, like, where the location of the Ark is. Right. Where it has, like, the whole, like, city area. This is a whole like the a W bunch of... now. Huh? Sorry, continue. <laughs> but then there's a bunch of holes that you stick the thing in, and then once the light peers through, then it'll, like, shine a light on it. Uh-huh. And then in a, in a completely separate area where it's where that light is... But is it in the same where... underground area? Like, so it's two. This is a two bedroom apartment that we're talking about here. No, the Sam. This is a, a Sam. This is a mansion, and the very like the entrance is where the map room is, mm-hmm. and then like the master bedroom is where like the room with the snakes and the ark is. Oh, so it's the same hole. What do you <laughs> mean? Sam, they're all part of the same structure. It's just all underground. So what do you mean that it's in the same hole when they're in two separate holes? Oh, so there is two separate holes. Yes. Okay. Why are you confused? Because I thought uh, Sala and uh, and Indy went down, solved where it was, went back up. Okay, now as I'm explaining this, I'm now realizing what. <laughs> Sam. Yeah, I just had to. I just had to go through the scene, step by step, and now I realize. Yeah, you're right. Two separate holes. Mm. Two, same dig site, two different holes. Yes, but also separate from the one that the Nazis are getting to. Yeah. Because they got the wrong spot. Yeah. Okay, the Nazi guy that got the thing on his hand is disgusting. He's a gross looking the man. Thing then, on his hand. Yeah, he gets the like the top like of like the. Oh, the, the, the that guy, the the yeah. guy who looks really evil, menacing Nazi. Yeah. Yeah. He the yeah. And they dupe us by him pulling out nunchucks, but then he just makes it into a hanger for his coat. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It's so good. <laughs> He's the Nazi version of, uh, of oh, what is it? Marv is Marv the guy from? Is Marv uh, the short guy? No, he's from, a tall. Wait. From Home Alone. I think he's the taller one. And who's what's the other one's name? Okay, we don't need to worry about it. We know who we're talking about. The one who also burns his hand on the door handle and has the M for McAllister stuck on his hand. <laughs> While a uh, Nazi man has the what is it? Is it an emblem? Like like some sort of pendant? It's the top part of the staff that leads into oh, the room. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And how did they? Oh, did they not use the staff? Is that why they got no, the wrong they got, area? So there's two sides on the staff that had writing on it, 
And he had the side where it was like saying how tall the stick was. But on the other side, it was like uh, saying like, yeah, but that number minus it by two. <laughs> Which is so dumb. But it worked, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, well... I think the point is to never find it. Have it be have only certain people find it, and people will only know the certain code to finding. But then, movies. why does everyone in these movies find it? Because somebody's supposed to find it in these movies. It wouldn't be Come a good on. movie if nobody found it. You know, it'd be great in the fifth movie if they never find it. <laughs> <laughs> this dial of destiny. They just end the movie without it. Yeah. And then they, they, walk, in, they walk like, into a clock store and they're like, "Excuse me, sir, we're looking for one of these." And the guy's like, "Ah, uh, that's like ancient stuff." And they're like, "Yeah, we know." And that's the end. <laughs> <laughs> you just hear the pump, <laughs> as wow. it's just like, okay. Another thing that I really like about these movies is the action set pieces. I think mm -hmm. one of my favorite moments is... Um, the guy getting eaten by ants. No, that one's horrendous. <laughs> I do and with like... the monkeys? Okay, we're not and talking... And sword? Okay, <laughs> no, we're going to not talk about those scenes. He brandishes the neck. Shut up. <laughs> Normal Tuesday night. <laughs> 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 Is that what this whole movie? Okay, that's what that's the Dude. whole that's that's that, that, that's uh, that's the, the Kingdom of the Crystal Skull is a prequel to uh, Shia LaBeouf Live. Mm -hmm. Um, every single come to your head and death in his eyes. <laughs> But you know jujitsu, body slam superstar Shia LaBeouf. <laughs> okay. Um, imagine at like the end of the movie, Shia LaBeouf's character, Mutt, that's his name. Mm -hmm. uh, imagine Mutt just getting absolutely transformed into this like savage like beast. By, like the, the crystal sixth sp movie where yeah. he's the villain. Yeah. <laughs> it's just Indiana Jones brandishes the knife. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Hayden, do you like it here? <laughs> okay, I have now I'm I'm now set on a rewrite now. I want to do a rewrite episode or like a pitch of <laughs> the, movie the has entire come out and you no, want to rewrite it. No, 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 no. I just want to do an actual like run through of a musical of the Shia LaBeouf like like a movie of it or like a just a storyline of it. <laughs> Because you know that Shia LaBeouf is this weird monster out in the middle of the woods. But why is the person out in the middle of the woods? But why is he a monster? And why is he in the middle of the woods? And why is and there why a bear he, trap? And why, why is he brandishing a knife? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Why are you in the woods? <laughs> what do you do after you have your stump leg? Do you get a new leg or do you just live life with one foot? No, and his name is quiet. That <laughs> <laughs> one kid is being like quiet, quiet. He looks so scary. Like, well, he yeah, looks... he, it's an intense moment, Sam. He just wants someone gnaw off their leg. Yeah. Okay. Um, wow. What were we even talking about? Oh, the action scenes. Shia LaBeouf. <laughs> no, we're not talking about Shia LaBeouf anymore. Yeah, him wielding a sword and trying to kill Kate Blanchett because he somehow knows how to fence. Well, he went to a really rich school and got kicked out of him where you learn uh, how to read and write and uh, fence. Like, I don't like really, I, I like to fight and stuff, but. School wasn't it for me, and that's his whole plot point. Wow. Yeah. I like how he wants to fight everyone about anything and everything. Yeah. Yeah. He's very aggressive. I hate it, but I also... Like, and he's like, oh, hey, how's it going? He's like, what'd you say to me? Huh? He's just like, oh, yeah, I know your mom. That's my mom you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, chill, kid. Dude, he's like... 
Oh wait, I I think I know a Mary. It's a, this lady. He's like, hey, that's my mom. It's my mom you're talking about. That's my mom you're talking about. And then he has his one knife where he just just like flipping it around, catches it. He practiced that for a week. <laughs> he probably did. He probably practiced for more than a week. Probably practiced it for a year. Yeah. <laughs> it's not like uh, Sebastian. He probably practiced more than Sebastian Stan doing choreography for that really cool knife sequence. In, uh, There's no way. Here. There's no way. The way that he throws it around is pretty articulate, Amy. Sebastian Stan did not do a good job. Look at Shia LaBeouf. <laughs> <laughs> he did ten times better. <laughs> We're talking about that one scene where he's just, <laughs> he's just flicking the knife. <laughs> Doing the basic thing of like holding the handle, tossing it, and then catching the handle. Yeah. <laughs> That's you it. Know, and he messes up at one point too. And like quickly like grabs a blade and just like <laughs> tosses it back. Okay. <laughs> I hate that. We watched this movie yesterday, mm -hmm. and now that's, like, the fresh <laughs> thing on our mind, so we'll only talk about that. Mm -hmm. But, back to the action set pieces. Some of my favorite moments are when, I don't know, I, I think this happens in every single movie except for the second one, uh, where they're just driving around in this convoy, and Indiana Jones has to hop around and take out all the Nazis or, uh, or the communists. The Germans. I was going to say the Germans. <laughs> the Nazis or the Germans. <laughs> Threat or menace. <laughs> um, but some of my favorite sequences is like, um, like the plane sequence where the plane starts spinning around in the first movie. Wait, in the first movie when the, the first, plane spin. Oh, yeah. Where, I where, thought you were talking about like they're in a plane and then it starts spinning, and I was like, "What do you well, mean?" Well, there's a guy in that plane and he's spinning. I meant they were flying in the air. Well, the plane was on, so it could have been flying <laughs> for all we know. It could have been like big, barely off the big, ground, big like big it German happened. Man, like flies up and is like, "Hey." <laughs> Hey, Indy, what are you doing? <laughs> I've come here to beat you up. That's not you, Sala, is it? No, I'm completely different. Indy, who are you talking to? <laughs> uh, I don't know. I don't mind him. Who is me and you who are talking right now? It's Indy, I don't way. know who you're talking to, yes. but I don't like that you mixed me up with him. No, he just comes up and is like, "Ich geschlecke like Dan." <laughs> Are we calling him Dirty Dan now? He is Dirty Dan. Okay. <laughs> um, ich geschlecke like Dan. That's Amy's one line. Is I'm <laughs> Dirty Dan. <laughs> from that's what that's all you. The only thing that I learned from German. Yeah, and I remember every year. Around that same time, you just hear people say, "You can bring the dirt the day." I can't remember what what dirty is, but it can be like like in the day. Can be peak German. Yeah, yeah. yeah um... My poor teacher. You always come into class and just sit there like, "What am I doing with my life?" Mm -hmm. What's happening? Why am I here? I learned this whole language and am now teaching it to other people and they don't care. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just using it to say I'm Dirty Dan, but not even in a good way. You should come and get the Dan. You should come and get the Dan. Dan. Loop de loop and pull Dan. Oh my gosh. Opa Gangnam style day. No. <laughs> I love how that got you. Oh. I'm like, this is so stupid. You're like, yeah, Opa we'll Gangnam style day. <laughs> ah, no. The head is squishing your brain. I know. I know. <laughs> Indy. 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 
just sounds more like him. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, other set pieces that I like. Um, I know this is completely unrealistic, but I do th I do thought I do think it was sick when he's taking out that entire group of Nazis on that truck, and he like gets shot in the shoulder at one point, and then and like the one of the Nazis like keeps pun punching him in the shoulder, and he's like ah, whoa! Um, but like, <laughs> but that whole truck sequence. Where he like oh, yeah. gets thrown out of the windshield and then like is oh, like, just like in the, the fourth front. One? No, the first well. Just like in the fourth one where he's swinging on the vine and he's like, oh, I thought it was closer and like crashes <laughs> <laughs> into the car behind him. And he's like, Doo! no. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, no. I'm talking about. <laughs> Are you just visualizing it now? Yeah. <laughs> With the crappy CG green oh, screen. The green screen was horrendous mm -hmm. in that movie. No, I'm talking about when he gets thrown out, out of the windshield, in, like on top of the car, and then he like has to go under the car and like sort of like lets go and like has the truck like dragging him, mm -hmm. which he'd be dead or his... His pants would surely be <laughs> off. It would just be off. It, it would just, just be off. Immediately. It would be just like from uh, Get like, Smart. Oh my, it's just like the back side of his pants is like gone. Yeah. And then you would see him like go to the little opera house, looks out at everybody, and, and he bows. bows and moons the entire crowd. You just see way too much of him. Or the audience, well, we don't see it, but like the audience of the opera sees him like, ooh. Have you ever heard of getting your socks knocked off? What? <laughs> <laughs> Get your socks knocked off. Yeah. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> <laughs> Your jeans are like a butt chap, bellas chaps. <laughs> this is so stupid. But <laughs> they better do it in the new one. You ready for it? <laughs> you ready for, ready for assless me? chaps? Oh my gosh, I'm crying over something so stupid. You're crying over someone getting half of their pants <laughs> ripped off because they're under a truck. Yeah. Dragged. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I just think it's so stupid. Like, you were getting your nursery socks like that. That's my interpretation. That's my impression. That's my impersonation of Indiana Jones saying short round or calling out to him. Shorty! Shorty! <laughs> Shorty! Shouty? Shouty like in the, the, that one song? Mm -hmm. Shouty's like a melody in my head. Na 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 na. A. No, 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 my, my heart be on repeat. A, a. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> short round is fun. Mm-hmm. I, I think he is my favorite. I think he is my favorite side, uh, like, sidekick character of the movies. Mm-hmm. Because I'm trying to think. The first movie, it's Sala and... Marianne. And uh, Marion. Mm -hmm. 
movie. Second movie is uh, him and uh, Willie and Shorty. Willie, that's yeah. her name. Um, and, and it's then... just Willie from a <laughs> Duck Duck movie. <laughs> Imagine kissing up on that. Having lustful <laughs> desires for Willie Robertson. I don't know how I got it. <laughs> oh, no, no. So it's, he's, so like, it's like, he's like, you know, making duck calls, didn't think I would make it here. Not one bit. Si, where are you at? <laughs> where am I? Why am I? I, I whoa. This doesn't sound like him at all, but... That's it, just... <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm lightheaded from how stupid this episode is. It's just reference after reference after reference. Dude, Willie sucks. Okay. She's like the worst like, She's... secondary character. I don't know how Indy likes her. Well, Let alone in... slept with her. <laughs> did she ever? Did, did they ever sleep with each other? They thought they did. They were going to, and then he touched the boobs of the statue. She got upset, and then Indiana Jones is like, pervert pushes the <laughs> pushes the statue. He's like thinking, oh, well, he's like, you think I'm just grabbing these boobs to cop a feel on this? I could have easily done that on oh you. Oh my god! And gosh. then pushes on the statue to go into the the other area. Going to the Temple of Doom. The Legion of Doom. The Legion of Doom. Um, Third one has Dad. Dad and Nazi Woman. Oh, yeah. Is that... And then it turns into... It just turns into just those two. And then Sala and the guy from the the college joins too. The guy who... That guy who totally is, blends in with everyone and will never cause any problems, I promise. And knows so many languages, you probably have no idea where he's at. And then he's just like, where are you? Where is everyone? Where am I? Is Excuse everyone? me, do you, do you speak English? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know where I'm at. Yeah, like I was British. Is he not British? I don't know. I thought he wasn't. And that's not a good British imp- impression, guys. Oh, I'm gonna... Hello, Gob! <laughs> Hello. Do you know how to speak the English? <laughs> Do you know y'all? Oh, Do any yeah. of you know how to speak English? Or proper English? Please. Please. Tell me where I need to go. I need to get home. To my mom. Why was he important? Uh. He... Oh, he had the, he had the journal. No, Indy had the journal. I oh, think he had he... the map that was pulled from the journal. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And he immediately gets caught. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Which that whole thing is so funny. Just like. Yeah. He's like. Okay, guy, I'll come with you. And it's Solo, and he's like, "Yeah, don't worry, I know Indy. Let's go." And Let's then, go. And then two guys that know English, they're like, "Hey, what the Indy sent us? <laughs> we promise." And he's like, "I trust those guys more." And it's like, "Bro, <laughs> no. <laughs> Why didn't you guys use a secret word or something? What Why didn't you heck? just say Indy?" <laughs> That's you would have known immediately. Yeah. Um, oh yeah, and then fourth movie has uh, Mutt. <laughs> has Mutt and uh, I guess kind of the double agent guy. Mac. Mac. Yeah, the whole time I kept sitting there like, yeah, Mac and cheese, dude. <laughs> I was like, when can I make a joke of this? And then I forgot. Um... And also well, Marion. Well, that movie, Mac was more of a... No, Mac was a bad guy the whole time. Well, like, he was an ally for, like, a little... He was... He was a double there's, agent there's trying a, to act like he was a double-double agent. And then he became not a double agent because he was... Well, he became Because not, of capitalism. Yeah. He's like, these guys are giving me money. <laughs> and... <laughs> you be like, these nuts! <laughs> I would never... <laughs> these... 
This lass is giving me. This lass is giving me the good stuff. She's giving me the money. I don't think he's Scottish. <laughs> <laughs> no, I got my guilt on. <laughs> <laughs> you got your guilt on. What are you guilty of? Being a double agent. <laughs> but I'm actually a triple. I hope I'm CIA. Yeah. Um, wow. Let's rank all of the side characters right now. Um, Best one. Ooh. I like Arnie. Marion. I do like Marion a lot. I think, I think, like, if we I, did typical tier list where it's, like, S tier, A tier, B tier, whatever, uh, I feel like Marion, Short Round, and Sala would be very high up. Yeah. Willie's very down at the bottom. I like her more than, uh, ooh. What are okay. the other side characters that we talked about? Well, it's... <laughs> Mac is villain, so he's also he's not, at he's the not, bottom. Well, he's not, he's not even a side character. He's literally a bad guy the whole time, except for the two minutes you think he's a good guy, but then you find out he's... When a, he's like, I swear I'm a good guy. You know I'm CIA, bro. <laughs> <laughs> My, I would probably put in the middle. I think I like Willie more than Mutt. She's annoying though. Oh, so she... is so is my. Okay, like the Mutt. whole thing with okay, but she complains the whole time where she's like, "Hey, why would you bring me here? I'm so mad." When it's like, "Oh, uh, I think I chip the mail." Ooh, Andy. Ooh, outdoors. Ew. Andy, I was supposed I'm to be gonna a throw this snake at you, Andy. Take that, loser. Ooh, look. Uh, there's an iguana or something. I can't remember. There's something that was like harmless that she screamed at. Like a squirrel. But yeah, she's annoying. I do not like her. Um, I... And then I also think I'm just annoyed too where it's like, you guys were replacing Marion with her as yeah. like a love interest. How I, dare you? <laughs> you just spat in my face. You spat in my face and lit me on fire and I'm pissed. And I think they would have brought her back for the third one. Because I think... Mm. Marion. Mm-hmm. Like, so the thing is, is that, like, I think they realized, oh, Marion is significantly better than Willie. Mm hmm But we wanted a different love interest for some reason. Um, yeah. And, uh... I think it was just still, like, the James Bond thing of, like, different stuff happening for the different movies. And maybe, mm -hmm. like, different love interests for each movie. And I think they... Well, I think if they had Marion in the third movie, it would have sort of tainted... The, not tainted, but it would have lessened the relationship between Indy and, and his dad. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Which I think that's the whole point of the third movie is to establish a relationship with Indiana Jones and uh, and his dad. Um, yeah. But yeah, I and think then that's they, the fun they part about it too, because yeah. yeah. there's not like any crazy like cra craze. There's no crazy like. Love they I was gonna say love triangle, but that's what's happening in the third one with the German lady. <laughs> it is a crazy love triangle. <laughs> Who do you love more? Do you love me or Indy? Sala, what are you doing here? Wait, this wasn't the love triangle. I thought it was me and Indy. <laughs> Just two people. It's so and lying. the German <laughs> and the Fraulein. She's not. Um, she's not German. She's uh, Austrian or Hungarian, something like that. She's a Nazi. That's that's my. In There's Indy, and then oh, frick, I just had it. Uh, yes. Nazi. Junior, Junior, 
Junior, give me a glass of water and pour it on my body. <laughs> Heal my wounds, Junior. Oh my gosh. I have to have really wide eyes when I say it too. And like my jaw is tight. Junior, watch me as I open We got to hide the body. <laughs> Junior, I've got to use my umbrella to scare away the birds. So I take down this butterfly. Oh, I'm so sad I missed that part. Oh, you did miss that part. That was a yeah, good Yeah, where he's like, jeep, 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 jeep. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. It's so good. I'm so sad. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I can't remember what sassy comment he makes to... Um, he like just walks over and has like the umbrella on his shoulder and he's like, mm, look at me. Well, he says something though and I can't remember. I can't remember if it was like some snarky comment being like, Junior. I thought, I thought he just waltzes over just all happy because he's like, look at what I did. And then uh, Indy's just like, you suck. <laughs> I can't remember. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> Dude, I remember all those shenanigans that they did mm -hmm. watching them when I was younger with dad. Okay, but Kate Blanchett... Love her, but that accent was terrible. I, can't, I don't even want to do it. <laughs> I was going to try doing a, a Russian accent, but it was going to just be like, oh, Hello, it's me. Hello. Me well, I'm... Hello. Well, it's like because some I'm things just... she would say with a Russian accent, but then also in the same line she'd say something in like her British accent. Yeah. You you could you could hear Kate Blanchett at some you point. You could hear Kate Blanchett. <laughs> you could hear her. <laughs> you could hear her at some parts. Well, you know what I mean. You can hear that it sounds like Kate Blanchett versus Russian. whatever her character's name is. She's not even Russian. She's Ukrainian, but oh, still right. that lady. Whenever I think of, this is bad of me. But whenever I, I'm like, I want to get a good Russian accent, I just think of the first thing that comes to my, my head is Sprechens like Deutsch, is just, which is speaking German. German. <laughs> <laughs> Sprechens like Deutsch. But it's more like the mother of Russia. If he dies, he dies. Now, I know that's mm -hmm. not what Kate Blanchett sounds like <laughs> during her accent. but That's exactly what she sounds like. That's uh, Dolph... Dolph Lundgren? Is that his name? Just From... say Dolph Ziggler. No, Dolph Ziggler does not sound like that. What does he sound like? He's like, It should have been me. I should have been WWE champion. It should have been me. That's his whole shtick. Bro. You spat everywhere. I know. I'm uh, surprised he didn't get on me. Yeah. Uh, his whole shtick is being, It should have been me. Like, I should have been WWE champion. I should be giving the opportunity. But no, you people are just too high and mighty. Uh, but that's besides the point. Um, anyways. Anyways. <laughs> Speaking my... of crazed lunatics. Um, hmm. I don't know where I was going to go with it. I'm trying to think of, like, do we know if Shia LaBeouf is going to be in the next movie? I don't think so. I highly doubt it. But they're also not having k Boy Kwan in it either. Are they not? I thought they were. I don't think so. He, I thought he came out when, on the, when everything on the everyone, Disney. I thought... Hold on. I'm pretty sure that in the... Uh, D, D20. D23. Yeah, D23. Um. <clears throat> let's He's not see. on the cast list. Really? Dude, Antonio Banderas? Yeah. Oh, wait. Oh, okay, so the girl that's like the goddaughter to a guy, he's a new character, so. Mm, okay. 
Um, okay. Yeah, in an interview with with Entertainment Tonight, he says that I don't want to disappoint the fans. I want to say it's it was that he was going to be in the movie, but no, it's not. So he's not going to be in the movie. Which Dumb. I could have sworn I saw a D23 that him and Harrison Ford were up on the stage. It was probably just at the Oscars when he won the Oscar for Best Supporting Actor. And like one but, of the people one of the people that came up to like hug him and congratulate him was Harrison Ford. Oh, that could have been it. That could have been it. And um, there was also like another little conference thing where uh, I think Harrison Ford was at some sort of press thing. I don't know what movie it was for. But uh, Kehoi Kwan like ran up to him and Harrison was immediately like, hey, <laughs> like just like not scolding him, but like just like teasing him. Oh, OK. This is what happened. So at D23, they were both there mm. because uh, Kehoi Kwan is going to be in the Loki season two. Um, or he was helping do a promotion for it. He could be a part of like. He is a stunt coordinator, so or like he did stunt that. stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Um. And he at the same time that's when they announced Dial of Destiny. Mm. And so. That's probably what I'm thinking of when they like yeah. lock guys and they're like, oh, I know you. Yeah. Look at that. Look little, at those little. babies. They're so Why cute. are you saying babies? They're old. I know. <laughs> Look how old they are. Precious. Old. Old. So old. <laughs> I can't believe how old they are. Uh Ki Hui Kwan is fifty one. Doctor Jones is probably what did He's we like say? He's like eighty. Is that what we said? Eighty? I think. There's uh there's cute pictures of uh I can't remember if uh, Temple of Doom got nominated or if they're just like doing like premiere stuff. Mm. But it's of Temple of Doom and it's Kei Hoi Kwan and Steven Spielberg. And they like took a picture together and then they like not like recreated like it. Oh, no, like back way back when the when Temple of Doom came out. Oh, right, right. right. Oh yeah, and then when he that. won the Oscar, they did another picture. Yeah, yeah okay. sweet that to see them it, too. Yeah. I love it. Mhm. Mm I like it. Mhm. Mm Something that's very interesting that always happens in every single one of these movies is that there's some gross, gruesome death. Mhm. Mm um, Are we gonna rank those? I just want to talk about them. Mhm. Mm uh, first movie. I feel like everyone talks about how just the boys melting and exploding yeah, is like that the scariest pretty, thing. Well, that's, that but one's I pretty messed up though. It is, but I sit here and think back as like a kid and like that not like traumatizing me. But I definitely remember Temple of Doom. Like the guy just... Like just... Like him getting lowered mm -hmm. into the pit of lava and just the guy being like, ah ha ha, while his heart's on fire. Kalima! Um, because some of like the gruesome deaths I think of, like the first two movies I just think of, or the first movie I think of the guy getting chopped up by the propeller on the... Mm-hmm. On the... Uh, and it's on crazy because it's not super graphic. Yeah, but you just see spires of blood. And, and you I just, just see remember that just go being, everywhere. Yeah, and for some reason, I'm like, ooh, that's pretty intense. Like, even the other day when we watched it. Like, yeah, because it's the imagination, yep. baby. Imagination. Imagination. Um, and then the um, the guys melting at the end of the movie from, from the power of God. And anime. <laughs> <laughs> um... Oh, God, and anime on my side. And then the second movie was, yeah, the the first sacrifice. And then the guy getting smashed by, like, the stone crusher oh thing. Oh, my gosh, that yeah. One, that one was disgusting because you'd then see, like, it turn. And mm -hmm. you just see that, like, whole streak of blood. And, like, I'm like, oh, my mm -hmm. gosh. This is a PG movie, just to tell you guys. By the way. <laughs> yeah, and I think Temple of Doom was the movie where it's just, like, yeah, we should probably have, hey, we should have a... 
We should have a a, a rating that's in between PG and uh, rated R, mm-hmm. thus starting the revolution of PG-13 movies. Mm-hmm. Which is basically every movie now. Yeah. Unless it's a, ch- a children's movie. Yeah. Um, but Me. And then the third movie, you have... I'm trying to think in the third movie what, like, gruesome... Um... The guy getting his head cut off and, like, the, like, going into where the grail is. Oh, yeah, that. Mm-hmm. Um, it's pretty gross seeing Hitler sign the, sign Indiana Jones Dude, notebook. Dude, that plane getting exploded by the birds after the dad's like, chip, 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 chip. <laughs> um... Do you remember any, like, gruesome, gross death in the third one? Uh, no. Oh. <laughs> it kind of when, uh, is it when the, the guy that's guarding the, the grail, he, like, when he dies, <laughs> he just, oh, like, just yeah. and, like, gets really old really fast. Yeah, oh. The first like one like an earlier CG thing it was so gross. I rem- yeah yep that's the one. It's surprising because it looks good. So I wonder if they use. It's I not, disagree. Uh, Sam, it looks better than uh, anything that came from the Crystal Skull. I uh, no I. I think I the ants think, going think... in the dude's mouth is looks better than that uh, de aging or the the aging. Man, at the end. Why of the are we de aging people? Why don't we age people? Yeah. Kill them right now. <laughs> <laughs> Just like in Last Crusade. Yeah. Um, fourth movie you had um, the ants. 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 <laughs> ah. Oh my. Water. Water. Yeah. In the fourth movie, you have the... Uh, Ants. Lady. <laughs> lady explodes. She doesn't really explode. She just disintegrates and just gets warped. And she gets Tons. abducted. Alien, Alien abduction. <laughs> you got the big eyes. And so there's this thick... <laughs> I wake up. <laughs> wake up. <laughs> wake up. Da. Um... Uh, so there's this thing on my leg, and then everybody's looking at me. What's going on, yellow leg? <laughs> it was humiliating. Gosh, what else? What else do you want me to say? It was humiliating. What do you what? want? <laughs> at least they didn't eat you. What was the? Yeah, well, nice no. try, kid. <laughs> You're gonna die. <laughs> That sly dog got him monologuing. <laughs> you sly dog. You got me monologuing. Um, uh, fourth one, also, uh, the nuke. The oh, nuke isn't that well. The, oh, the nukes... them, both of them poor mannequins yeah. exploded. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, at the beginning of... Okay, just because it's on my mind, too, um... The the whole sequence of at the beginning of the movie where they're where they're in Area Fifty One, and sometimes stuff is magnetic, other times it's not magnetic, just for conveniency and to make it easier for all the actors and whatever. Mm-hmm. But I think that's funny. Um, like I really like the idea of like. Them just getting a hat and putting bullets in it. I'm just <clears> using that. Yeah, that's, that's pretty neat. But then it's sick because the, the guy just dumps him on the floor and puts his hat back on. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't do anything. What if, what he if just he takes sl- a step and slips. <laughs> no. Uh, he banged his hat a little too tight on his head and then he just goes flying because it's too slow. <laughs> There's still like remnants of the gunpowder in there. He's just soaring across. 
He's just soaring across the area of 51. Whoa, he's still holding on his head. He's like, whoa, guys, whoa. Help me, everybody. I'm getting pulled away. Where am I going? And then you see, like, a box explode. And he's just covered in splinters, like, very aggressively, like, torn up by, like, the splinters no, in the box. And that. that's how you find out where the alien casket is. Um... Oh my gosh. Yeah. Wait, what did they even do with that alien, uh, like, body? <laughs> like, how we both sat here, like, <laughs> like, well, I don't know, man. Because they go to Cause Area 51. Because that's, that's not the... Crystal skull, is it? No. Is it? No. What? Well, no, it's magnetic, but the... Wait, it probably is... But why... Oh. It, it is a body, because, like, they show it, like, on an autopsy table, but then she's like, Look, I got this crystal skull! Get a load of this! But then it's like, where'd you get that because there's no way it came out of that alien brain the, the head over there because it's simply too small no uh -huh. sam and the the thing wasn't long and also his head wasn't flat like he didn't have a skull i don't know I mean... and the rest of the body is in the temple <laughs> so why would they t why would they need to take the skull back if the rest of the body <laughs> is right there when the, uh, when the when it came out of this other body. So, how many, uh, there, there was one extra guy who came down from the spaceship and was just like, Hey guys, uh, I, I'm, I'm here I'm too. Ahead. Well, no, no, there was, there was an extra guy that came on this uh, oh, alien he's trip. Back. He's, he was like, Hey, hey guys, uh, oh where did you guys all go? Uh, and then the lady walks up. Pew. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Nah, the Americans are like, pew. And then and so they just took his head, lady. put it on another person's body. What the heck? <laughs> no, because then the wait, the, the crystal skull was with the 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 He was, he the was with the knight. Yeah. Wait a minute. What's the point of the beginning of this movie? Why were they in Area Fifty One? Aliens. Yeah, but like... But why? Yeah. Okay, let's move on. Uh, <laughs> moving on to uh, after Indy gets nuked. And oh, then they're yeah. just simply cleaning him from all the radiation. And it's like, nah. <laughs> you need to do more cleaning than just getting a bunch of scrub brushes and just... Well, they're not, gonna, they're not going to show the whole cleaning, the whole cleaning scene. Nobody wants to see that. Indy but also, nobody wanted to see him. And see, nobody wanted to see Shia LaBeouf uh, swinging on a vine with a whole bunch of monkeys, becoming Tarzan for some reason. Shia yeah, but LaBeouf. they had, they had, the, <laughs> yeah, but they had to show that, but then not explain why they had the beginning part. Well, okay, Amy, <laughs> sixth movie is mutt <laughs> seventh movie <laughs> no sixth movie is mutt becomes a deranged animal that's why he's gone from the fifth movie because he's he left and went into exile and um he exiled himself from the people because he thought he was a danger to society and then he became full savage no and sam he's he's too much of a sensitive boy oh yeah he cries at literally nothing yeah, what was he crying about in, like, the diner? Was he crying in the diner? I thought he was. No, he... He, he cried in the jail cell. Yeah. Which, now, thinking oh. thinking back to it, it was, like, his father figure, which was the crazy old man dude. I didn't know that. What the heck? Well, that's how he finds Indiana Jones, and oh. was through him, and whatever. That's my understanding. Okay. And probably through Marion as well. But, like... Yeah. I don't think they wanted to establish a relationship. Like, I didn't think Marion wanted Mutt to know. Does, does Mutt know that? Like, did he know that? Uh... Indy was his dad? No. Yeah. Nope. Okay. No. Okay. Yeah, they tell him they found the out at the same time. That's right. That's when he was like, you should go to school, you stupid head. 
<laughs> Indy. Famous indie lines. Yeah. <laughs> Go to school, idiot. Mm-hmm. Um. Yeah. <laughs> that that movie that movie is wild. that movie that movie works better as an Uncharted movie than it does a Indiana Jones movie in my opinion. Oh yeah. If you change around everything, <laughs> uh, <laughs> it works completely. But if you change everything, about it, it well, could no. work. Well, if you, I feel like if you just replaced. Uh, like, you could totally easily turn this into an Uncharted 2 movie where you replace Nathan Drake with, uh, 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 who do I want to replace him with, Indiana Jones or Mutt? Because you can replace him with Mutt because he's younger than Victor Sullivan, but he's not the, okay, never mind, we're overthinking this. Nathan Drake is Indiana Jones, Mutt is, is, uh, is, uh, Victor Sullivan. Uh, and then Chloe Frazier is uh, the CIA agent. Uh, Marion is. Oh, I feel so bad because I love her so in the game. Ellen. Ellen. Or Elena. 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 And you could totally just change it up like. That and turn it like and have the like they even have Russian villains or like Soviet Union like Lazarevich is main bad guy in, in Uncharted 2 and they it's just so wild you go into like when you go There's into like the mines no that's the first one oh in the in the second game uh, <clears throat> Nate and the whole entire group Go into this, uh, go into this, like the Himalayan, like this mountain in the Himalayas. Welcome to the Himalayas! Yeah, and they meet all these people who, like, they meet, like, this tribe. Like John Ratzenberger? Okay, <laughs> what? <laughs> I have no idea what you're talking about. John Ratzenberger, that's the guy that plays uh, the above <laughs> 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 like, why are you just making up a name right now? Like, <laughs> Whose man is this? Who is John Rats and Burger? Rats and Burger. Rats and... Hey! Excuse me, waiter. There is a Rats in my burger. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, yeah. Uh, I don't know, like... That that whole you know, that whole game like you go into like this random area in the Himalayas you you see all this tribe people who worship <laughs> the abominable <laughs> snowman who <Yeah>. worship <laughs> John Ratzenberger. I cannot hear you. That movie is forever ruined the Himalayas for me. <laughs> it's just every time. Yeah. Welcome to the Himalayas. <laughs> Indy, welcome to the Himalayas. Thanks, Indy. Snow cone. <laughs> um, snow cone? <laughs> They're lemon flavored. <laughs> no, 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 don't worry. They're lemon. <laughs> <laughs> I actually peed on it before. <laughs> <laughs> Got him. Um, but yeah, the movie could have totally worked because. Indiana Jones goes into nothing. <laughs> Amy took my Indiana Jones hat, and her the bun in her hair is the it's only like a thing. a head. Yeah, it's the only thing inside the hat. And so she's like turning, and it's just like wobbling around like a bobblehead, and it's absolutely horrendous. What are you talking about? It's perfect. Yeah. Um, but yeah, basically the point of. This whole tangent is... Go watch the movies. Yeah. Um, but also, I was meaning more Uncharted 2. Could, or an Uncharted movie would have done great. Or the Kingdom of the Crystal Skull would have been a great Uncharted movie. That's the whole point of this video? No, the whole point of this last like 15 minute oh. attempt conversation. Or rant. Um, Should we rank the movies? 
I already did. Oh, huh. My so I'll, I'll I'll say mine again. Uh, I think it goes Last Crusade, then Raiders, Temple of Doom, then Kingdom of Kingdom of the Crystal Skull. Mm-hmm. For my ranking, I would go Raiders, Last Crusade, Temple of Doom, and then Kingdom of the Crystal Skull. What about you, Hayden? Um, what order do you guys do it? One to four, four to one. Uh, one like best to worst. Mm-hmm. Best to worst. Because did we do the exact same thing? I think we did the exact same. No, you did. Uh, we first. switched. We switched the first two. Yeah. Definitely. Kingdom of the Crystal Skull first. <laughs> Well, best I mean, I, movie. Well, best Hayden was very excited to watch it. He was like, "I'm pretty sure it's the first one," and he because he would pull it up on on uh, what was every it? Every single every single day that we were gonna watch a movie, he always pulled up that one first. Yeah, it's like, oh yeah, we're watching this one, right? <laughs> or immediately after we watched the a movie, he's like, "Oh, can you the Christmas go on? We're gonna watch the next one." Yeah. So good. Um. Probably just the order they came out. Mm. So, one, two, three, four. Fair. Wow. Wow. I disagree with you, but wow. Wow. You got the cojones to... Yeah. You got the cojones to say that kind of stuff. Gosh. I don't know. I'm not a huge... Even after... I, like, I never watched all of them... All the way through. Mm-hmm. I've never seen the fourth one until yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and now it's your favorite. I don't think I've even. I don't think I've seen the third one at all until last week. Mm-hmm. I've only seen bits and pieces of the first and second one. And I just think the first one is just like you guys were saying earlier. There's so many like iconic things from it that other movies imitate all the time. Mm-hmm. That it's. It's just classic. Yeah, it's just not in there for a reason. Mm-hmm. Fair. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, I don't really know what else to say about these movies, uh, but... They're pretty good. Yeah, I like them. I think they're classics. Hayden is whatever about them. <laughs> but that's fine. That's 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 normal. Yeah. His adventure movie is the Jurassic Park movies. Yep, and that, and that makes sense to me, fellas. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh... <laughs> Stop! Oh, my nose hurts. <laughs> see you in our see you in our next episode where we uh, talk about comic books and do a little bracket. Oh, baby. baby. Well, thanks for listening to this episode. Uh, if you liked this, you should go check out our other stuff. If you're on Apple Podcasts or Spotify, please leave a review. Check out our other videos on YouTube where we have bonus content outside of a podcast. And if you like that, please like, comment, and subscribe to also help our channel grow. Recommend us to your friends so they can also enjoy the dynamic duo of a lifetime. And check us out on TikTok and Instagram at AGS underscore podcast. And check out my art stuff on Instagram at Fabby underscore Yanny. And we'll see you in the next one. See ya!